First, let me remind you that sound is nothing more than changes in air pressure traveling from its source out in all directions. The inverse square law says every time you double the distance from a sound source, the sound pressure level drops by 6 dBs or 75%. The reason this is so important is because every microphone on your stage is picking up every sound on the stage. When you're trying to make a good mix, ideally you only want one sound in each microphone. And since you can't have that on your stage, the best compromise is to put the microphone as close as possible to its source. Whether it's guitar amps, pianos, or vocals, it doesn't matter. What this does is makes your source sound louder than all the other sounds in that particular microphone. The result? It gives you more control at the mixer, a cleaner, better sounding mix, and you'll get less feedback. This isn't just a tech issue. Everybody on your stage needs to be aware of this, singers especially. Over the years that I've taught about sound, I've learned that a lot of sound techs understand this principle, but they either fail in communicating it or they struggle getting people to comply. If you're on a worship team or a band member, let me demonstrate this principle. The sound reaching this microphone from one inch away is 12 dBs louder than it would be from four inches away. So what happens in real life if you don't keep the mic close? Well, the voice is 12 decibels quieter, and the sound tech has to turn it up at the mixer by 12 decibels. Guess what that does? It raises all the stage noise by 12 decibels too, and it increases the feedback potential by 12 decibels. So put your mics close. It's not always the very best sound, but it's the best compromise. I'm Greg Hill for AV Genius.